I just bought myself some quant. I think it's probably one of the better times to be getting into the market when you start to understand what quant really is and how it is gonna be pretty much the backbone of cryptocurrency development going forward. We know about Ethereum, Algorand, Avalanche, HBAR, Solana, all of these different blockchains all have their strengths, but they also all have their weaknesses. This means that different dApps and different financial services are being built on each different separate blockchain. But what is limiting the growth of crypto and limiting the development of crypto right now is that they are not interoperable. It's very difficult to use one chain and transfer something across or information across from one chain to another. This is a problem that is solved by Quant. And this is why Quant is one of my top picks for this crypto bull market. Before we dive in and look a little bit about what Quant is, how it works, as well as identifying the enormous price prediction I have for Quant going forward, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Let's get into today's video. So here we are over on Quant. Now I'm gonna tell you before we dive in and look at this, I'm not like that tech savvy. I understand a little bit and I can do my reading. I'm ultimately in it, the investment game. So I need to understand a little bit about how things work, but don't expect a really detailed breakdown of quant, right? I'm going to tell you what I understand about it and where we're going to go with that. So the future of finance from quant. Now I talked about interoperability, basically simply breakdown meaning uh, that you can use dApps that are built on one blockchain on another blockchain. Now, if you think about interoperability, if you think about a few years ago, if you owned a Mac, there was loads of different programs that worked on Windows that you couldn't work on Mac, which was an absolute pain in the ass. But now you can use programs on both Mac, whether that be Word, you can use on Mac, or whether that be something else that's built for Mac, you can now use on Windows. But that then doesn't limit you on whether you want to buy a Mac or whether you want to buy Windows. You might buy one or the other for whatever reason. Unlocking the power of blockchain for everyone. Now, at the moment, every crypto project is pretty much a speculative project. They're not really with the exception of a few really doing much, okay? They're just projects that are anticipated to be able to do a lot in the future and they're kind of getting hyped up by marketing teams and people on YouTube, which is making them hot investments. But Quant is slightly different from that. Quant offers enormous opportunity, real world solutions, lower costs, enabling new businesses and mitigating risk. Now it's all done through a DLT or a distributed ledger technology that allows different applicant programming interfaces and individual blockchains to connect to one another. This is great because it improves things like procurement, logistics, provenance, customs, and payment solutions. And by creating value, reducing the risks and costs, this is also essential. And isn't this what each individual blockchain is trying to achieve? And notably, none of those blockchains have actually significantly achieved all of these different things at once yet. Therefore, by creating an interoperable system that links all of them together, you will be able to create the holy trinity of blockchains, which links up scalability, security, and speed. Our whole idea of creating cryptocurrency, or one of the ideas, was to enable cross-border payments. And as someone who lives abroad and has worked abroad for the last five years, it's been very useful to be able to send money and take money through different countries without any issues. Because again, it's a real pain to try and do it through traditional banking systems. However, with a lack of interoperability of different chains, it can be sometimes a bit tricky to send different cryptocurrencies at different times and can also sometimes be costly as well. And Quant breaks this down, enabling us to benefit from multi-chain payment solutions. All the kind of boring stuff that you probably don't really want to know much about. And to be honest, I don't really get that excited by it, guys. But I'm excited by it because it's basically bringing crypto into having real world uses. Yes, it's nice to go and see NFT projects and gaming platforms and whatever, but really the kind of backbone behind all of this and what makes DeFi such an essential part of the future is all in here and the quant is solving the problem. It's gonna get rid of things like money laundering, which is a huge problem in various parts of the world. It's gonna help with things like supply chain and trade finance. It's gonna make it's gonna make the whole world of like shipping and trade extremely easy. Every piece of information is all gonna be locked in the blockchain. And this can all be done in a completely trustless way. It can all work without having to have third parties involved, which reduces costs, but ultimately better for the supplier and the consumer. So all very exciting and something that we essentially need going forward. Therefore, I think Quant stands to solve a very big issue when it comes not only to the blockchain, but also to the real world that we live in. And couple that all together with the fact that Quant only has a market cap of $1.8 billion. So what you're probably saying? Well, the market cap is essential because smaller market cap tokens tend to offer much better investment opportunities because for them to grow percentage wise, 
isn't actually so difficult as it is for something like Ethereum, which already has an enormous market cap. And if you can see Quant rising to like the value of Ethereum at the top of a bull market, well, then we're looking at potentially 100x, maybe even 150x or beyond. And if we look into the Quant chart right now on the daily, you'll understand a little bit about why I've bought now. I do anticipate that the markets are now breaking from downtrend into uptrend. You're probably thinking, well, obviously, but many people still think that we are in a bear market. I think the transition is happening into bull market because the markets precede or they anticipate what's going to happen next. Right now, the whole world appears to be falling apart with banks going under. That was basically what we saw from crypto maybe a couple of months ago where crypto was at the bottom. Now we're seeing crypto predicting what's going to come in the next couple of months where we might have a very brief recession, but moving into better times. Now, what we can see on Quant was an interesting area uh, where we had a break towards the upside. Uh, and here, down here, we can see a buy zone. And the buy zone we can see if we jump into the four hours. What a buy zone looks like is where we've had a push down into an area and then suddenly we start to spring out of it. You can see that we sprung out of it and then at some point we were going to revisit it. And we revisited in a big way. And yes, I wish I'd bought Quant back then because I would have got it around 14% cheaper than I actually paid for it. But we've had a nice little push back into here. And why I've not waited for it to push further down is this. Okay, we've got a nice downtrend. We break up out of it. We come back down to retest. And yeah, we did a little bit lower. Currently sat on the 50 moving average on a four hour chart. I do anticipate this is going to bounce and follow upwards. But the reason I don't care about that 14% that I missed out on by not buying slightly lower down is because zoom out. Everyone's getting too focused right now on buying this coin and buying that coin and whatever it's going to go up and down tomorrow. Are you planning on going and looking at the charts for the next two years to see if the coin that you've bought is going to be up and down on that day? You're just going to go crazy. It's so pointless, right? I like to buy and look at the macro picture. Okay, so I'm buying right now because I see that we have good upside. And where it's at right now to the all time high, you're only going to get 237%. I say only, that's pretty massive in every market apart from crypto. 237% back to the all time high. Because crypto is going to become more mainstream, people are going to start to use crypto regularly. Companies are going to have to start using it. Right now, your coins being pumped by their marketing teams, by people on YouTube. Uh, and most people don't really know what different cryptos do. And that's okay. But when we start to see, but when we start to see different cryptos actually being used for what they're designed for, that's where the whole game changes. When they start to replace traditional systems, such as the traditional finance system that's already been there, of which Quant, I believe, is an essential part with interoperable cross-chain solutions, then we see something very exciting indeed. So to Quant to go for a 10x, which would take it to an $18 billion market cap, then, you know, then we're looking at a $1,200 Quant. Obviously, that's a 10x. Uh, but whether or not we can get up and see like a $10,000 Quant, maybe even more, all comes down to market cap and interest in the market. But everyone's looking far too short term. Everyone's anticipating that they're going to see 100x in Gala next year. These projects are great and you will see good returns. But I'm looking at projects like Quant, whatever, whatever suits your appetite. And looking at investing for the next five to eight years, you will see pump and dumps come in other tokens. But I think Quant, you can see the fact that Quant back to all time highs is actually not that massive shows that it's actually far more stable. The fact that from all time lows to all time highs in other tokens like HBAR are like 25 X's show that that token was destroyed in a crypto bear market because ultimately it was held by retail and retailers, retailers basically panicked. Whereas Quant, I do believe will start to see institutional level investment, whereas you'll probably not likely see that in some of the other smaller market cap coins that people are talking about quite regularly on the internet. And that's just my two cents. I could obviously be wrong. I'm just anticipating that maybe right now the market's about to get moving. And this is a good time to be loading up on tokens that will serve a very good solid purpose in the future and solve some of the biggest problems in crypto, of which interoperability is one of the biggest. And if you want to discuss that further, then get into my Telegram guys. Link down below, absolutely free. And you can discuss what's going on with Quant. I actually told the people in the premium group to be buying during this green zone here and unfortunately i didn't pay attention to my own advice and at one point i could have got 24 percent out of that in just a very short space of time but don't worry obviously there's gonna be more coming up every single day and every, and every day in the premium group i'm identifying chances to get invested i'm giving targets where i'm buying at where i'm selling at as well as other macro news that i've also been discussing and there you can also dm me if you want further questions as well guys if you want to trade the markets right now then head across to fairdesk fairdesk link down below in the description where you'll get a bonus for signing up and using a fairdesk i like it because the trading fees are super low you'll also get a deposit on bonus and you can use copy trading 
or you can copy traders like myself here who's made $29,000 in just the last seven days. There's only 10 spots left, so if you want to become one of my followers over there, then head through that link down below in the description. Obviously, though, not without risk. Be very careful about investing any money that you can't afford to lose, and that goes for all the crypto guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more and go deep diving with me into crypto, then subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.